you stood up and then you Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, esteemed members of this August body. It is given the fact that technology plays a vital role in our economic development. We now live in a world where connectivity is a must and that the sense of urgency and constant accessibility has redefined our relationship, whether among individuals, businesses, and the government. The Philippine economy, aside from its existing industries and other sorts of services, relies on information technology and business process management. As ITBPM becomes one of the country's leading generators of income, it does not only provide sustainable economic sources to individuals, but also it places the country in the pedestal of providing outstanding outsourcing services, not only for customers support, but also for outsourcing technology services to different foreign businesses. Just recently, Iligan City has been identified as one of the digital cities in the entire Philippines. Yes, we have been identified as one of the digital cities in the entire Philippines. Digital Cities is a program under the Digital Philippine Initiative. Digital Philippines is the flagship initiative of DICT that aims to transform the Philippines and Filipinos to enable full utilization of the potentials of ICT through five focus programs. These are digital government, digital classrooms, digital workplace, digital workforce, and digital communities. Digital cities are selected based on the scorecard system developed and the said metrics reflects what investors are looking for in selecting the perfect location for their business. In this respect, Illegal City has met the said criteria. In this challenging time brought by the coronavirus pandemic, technology responded to mitigate the situation and set alternatives in order not to derail basic services. Our schools now venture in conducting online classes and modular curriculum in the hope of containing the further spread of the virus without sacrificing education. Our banks and other payment schools for utility bills often to promote online transactions. Our government, our courts, and other government agencies utilize online platforms to continue its services. Ladies and gentlemen, this would mean to say that our best tool in this global crisis rely heavily on our technology. With this pronouncement of recognition given to Eden City and the importance of technology, as the committee chairman of information and communication technology, I am humbly asking this August body to support any innovative ordinances that would boost our IT BPM, our IT sectors, being one of the digital cities. It is timely and practicable to establish IT Hub and IT Park in Iligan City and fast track the construction and improvement of IT infrastructures that would reach the far flung communities of Iligan City. This endeavor will further boost our economy, viability, and further our services to our constituents. We we'll continue and we fail while observing the standard health protocols set forth by the Interagency Task Force. It is in this way we acknowledge and recognize potential opportunities that ICT offers. And the Iligan will definitely reap its benefits. Terang salamat. Terang salamat. Councilor Amula, you will also have your... Uh, Privileged speech? Uh, okay. <laughs>